what's up guys we're here again my carport getting loaded up uh another saturday with me and crystal aka maybe a mermaid on instagram we're gonna go out and get some dinner uh we got some stone crab traps to pull which is gonna be a whole video with uh Harold and how we make traps and everything how we rig them uh, but we're also gonna try to get some oysters um, we were thinking about doing like a heavy appetizers dinner oysters snipe from the hunt the other day that I don't know if you guys have seen yet or not and uh, whatever else we can get into we're also gonna try to get some mud crabs out of the oyster bars for sheep's head bait so y'all are gonna ride along again just another Saturday in our lives. We got a load up, we got buckets, we've got, uh, what do we got babe? Coolers, grabbing a cast net just in case. We'll bring a couple fishing rods, um, gloves, oyster culling knives, um, and stone crab gauges. Harold, I still don't have my stone crab gauge, but I will when I make the rest of this video. Uh, see you guys out on the water. here I just want to show you guys check this out the floating dock is uh, not floating not <laughs> the floating dock is not floating <laughs> it's uh, it's sitting and uh, it looks like somebody dumped oysters and stone crab claws out here Yeah, it looks like the water's super clear. It oh, is. Like. Need to go gigging tonight. I have no idea what's going on up there, folks. <laughs> That's how you put them on. It's good to know. You'll know soon enough when you're coming. Gearing up. You gonna get all the oysters? Did you grab gloves? Yeah, I put them in the bucket. <laughs> Not that bucket, the bait bucket. Okay. And don't say the F word. <laughs> I didn't say that, that was something different. <laughs> you said duck. <laughs> duck, duck, I saw a duck right over there. <laughs> Oof. Sorry. Trying not to ruin my gel coat, but I think I just traded some for some oysters. <laughs> I'm gonna put the power pole down here. I need gloves. We're gonna get a few for dinner. Nice little oyster reef right here. All right, y'all, so we're getting geared up. Gloves are essential. I'm gonna shoot some video on the head cam. I don't usually like to do the head cam because, I don't know, it has a very, what was that movie? Blair Witch <laughs> shakiness yeah. to it, but, uh. I could put it on the super shake setting. Be surprised, I don't really know how to use a GoPro. Um, that doesn't surprise me at all. But uh, <laughs> gonna kinda show you how to grab some oysters. We're gonna fry these things up. We're just gonna get enough for dinner tonight. Mud crab? I think so. Stone crabs are more pinkish where mud crabs are okay. more brown. But he's pinching himself. <laughs> he's bait? Yeah, he's bait. bait. Okay. What do you got, babe? What do you got? 
that is like a uh, he told, it's called a swimming crab. He's not happy because I've been picking at him. Is he bait? So he was in a hole in the we got course. what I I'm pretty sure it's called a swimming crab. It looks a lot like a blue crab. Yeah. But it's not. Huh. Um just slightly different. Uh no blue to it, more of like a earth tone color and pretty. Look at that thing. I think we'll let him go just because he's cool. He's pretty. But he's uh living in a hole. I bet uh fishing vessel. I always forget Paula. Paula, Miss Paula. Miss Paula. Sorry, bro. I know that. It's just like every time I try to say it on camera, I'm like, duh, 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 duh. my buddy on uh, fishing vessel, Miss Paula, would know. I'll let that one go just because it's cool. Sorry. I think, I think we have enough oysters for our dinner. And we're just going to do that because we need to go catch some bait to rebate the stone crab traps. Usually I buy something or bring something, but we forgot it. Luckily I got the cast net. We'll go get some mullet. What is that thing? It's like a sponge. I don't know. Check it out. Ooh. It's got oysters growing on it. This is an oyster reef is the starting point for so many animals. Um, they use it like as a nursery to grow and hide. Uh, and they're super important. So if you do eat oysters, try to put your shells back. That leaves the, leaves the new oysters something to grow off of. And if we, every time we took oysters, if we didn't put shells back, the oyster reefs would disappear. So that's important. Something to keep in mind if you have the means to do it. What's up guys? Back in the kitchen. Uh, I am shucking oysters i'm gonna fry these oysters it's not something i do a whole lot because honestly it's a little bit uh labor intensive and before you say it i know someone's gonna say it i eat them raw too i actually like eating them raw a lot mm. that was a good one that is a delicious saint augustine oyster okay. super salty um but I also want to fry some for you guys. I like eating fried oysters. <clears throat> and it is tempting to sit here and just eat them as I'm shucking. And I might be eating a couple. Also, looks like I got some sun today. We were fishing. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you guys how I shuck an oyster. Um, the oysters that we get in our area aren't the biggest oysters in the world. Um, but they're ours. And I would much rather go out and get my own, if you haven't noticed then buy them at the store. So, first you need a good oyster shucking knife. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's upside down. Oh. <laughs> there you go. This is a toad fish. Um, I really like this thing. I've already worked through a couple. Um, it fits in your hand super well. See how it's got a thumb hole right there? And, you know, you can twist. It's got some nice weight to it. Uh, slightly bent. But it's also sharpened on the edges, yet somewhat blunt on the tip. Because if you ever shucked a lot of oysters, sometimes you can slip and that sharp tip will stab you. But you want the sharp edge here for cutting the oyster off the shell. Probably be better just to show you. Always, always, always use a rag or a glove when you're shucking oysters. Um, I've cut myself open bad. So an oyster's got like a concave side and a flat side. You want to go start with the concave side down like that. And you've got the hinge. And I don't know what you call this end. This is the not hinge end. Um, come in at the hinge. You're going you're gonna to push and just twist just a little bit. And that's where that little bit of curve comes into play. I, I, I should add this is the professional model. Um, that's the model I like Super easy. See how easy that one popped. I didn't struggle at all Once you got it popped open wipe the tip of your knife Come in and that this is where that sharp side comes in. I'm riding the top shell of that oyster like so and Disconnecting it. Oh, 
This thing's got something special in it. Just wait. Oh, your favorite. So cut, disconnecting that there. And then look at this. A little baby crab living in my oyster. They say that's good luck. If you eat it. I think you got to eat it for it. the luck. You um, eat it. I'm not eating it. <laughs> Bianca, Bianca, are you going to eat it? Eat it. Eat the it. Crab? No, eat just it. lick it. Ew, no. She smelt it and threw it in the trash. <laughs> okay. Um, but those crabs are actually fairly common. Um, they live inside the oyster. I don't know if it's a parasite or a symbiotic relationship. I think it's symbiotic. Um, so then you got your oyster. Now from here, you can eat them like this. You could charbroil them or you can put them in your little strainer and fry them later. I'm going to show you guys how to fry oysters, at least how I fry oysters. Um, there's a little bit of a trick to it. And uh, when I get done shucking all these, which is going to take me a minute, we're going to fry them. Own these oysters here and say, hey, we're going we're gonna to take all our shells and we're going to go put them back. So. Hold on. Okay. So. <clears throat> One of the things I keep harping on, talking about, is putting your oyster shells back. Really? I've never heard you say that before. <clears throat> well, <laughs> you are kind of argumentative. <laughs> I'm going to get a new deckhand pretty soon here. What? Anyways, uh, so we always put our oyster shells back if we can. Yes. But you can also repurpose some oyster shells, which is something Crystal did while I was way on the tug and it's super cool. Check it out. So, I did not give him a choice. I just did it and I hoped that he would like it. But one day, it was the day that we were collecting the shells. Yeah, we got it on video. We do have it on one of our videos. I don't, um, I don't either. I think we made chowder or something. I don't know what we did. But anyways, um, you were making fun of me because I was collecting all of the things and he's like, what are you going to do with that stuff? I and I money. said, it's treasure. I um, so I had him help me get five gallon buckets full of oysters. Anyways, um, so this is what I made with those oyster shells. Um, the light we had before was very much um, look like this. CD bar. Yeah! Like Ruby Tuesdays. That was the look I was stained going for. Stained glass. I don't know who picked those out. Did you pick those out? I did pick I don't it. even I got them from Home Depot 10 years ago when I bought the house. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> so that's what was on there before. And um, this is what I made. I do have on Boats and Baits with Bianca, right? Uh, the do-it-yourself how-to video if you want to go check it out. Check out my TikTok. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Self-plug there. Um, but <clears throat> it was really simple. It cost me total $45 because the light bulbs were really expensive. I got kind of fancier looking ones since you can see them through the chandelier. But yeah, oyster shelves. Another great way to use them. And that's for sale for five thousand no, dollars. No. Custom one off. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> I'll consider it. Babe, if someone wants to buy that for five thousand bucks or sell it to them, you have to make another one. <laughs> Deal. Oh man. Make fried oysters, they said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> it was my idea actually. So I've got a bunch of oysters and I've already breaded some of them. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I got House Autry, my favorite seafood breader, and I'm coming, just grabbing a handful and trying to drop them individually like that. Now our local oysters here are not the biggest oysters in the world, as you can see right there. Um, so then roll them around with your dry hand and make sure you get breader on all the surfaces there. Then pull them out one by one like this, but there's a trick. If I was to fry these just like this, to get them crispy, they'd be way overcooked. Um, so what what I like to do is take them once you got a plate full and pop them in your freezer. Let them pretty much almost freeze solid, and you'll see when I fry them that they won't get 
completely well done and still be crispy, if that makes sense. So, we'll get this oil heated up. So my oil's hot. I'm gonna pull my first batch of the almost frozen mm. oysters out. Then we are going to, let me bust a couple loose here. We're gonna fry them. 350 degree peanut oil, not too many. So you don't wanna drop that temp down. I actually, I like to work between 350 and 375. I had fried something else with this oil previously and strained it, but if you've ever fried oysters, it like, it does something to the oil. I'm gonna show you a cool trick on what to do with your used oil when I get done. Looking for a rag here. These things will not take very long. Um, basically, when you see them starting to float, they're done. Whoop. What's the one behind you? This is like for the deep fry. Ah. Okay. Ready? It's filming. Go. All right. So I want to show you guys. Well, first I want to show you these oysters. <laughs> look how amazing those look. They um, super freeze them to win. And then they are still like. Sorry. They are still um, like um. I got, I don't know what the word, but not like chewy and rubbery and uh cooked perfectly are, and the outside's crispy so good they're very like tender still yeah how a fried they're oyster chewy so exactly how a fried oyster is supposed to they're be really good and the trick there is the freezing them but i want to show you guys something something on my tiktoks people would always ask me like well what do you do with your used fries fried oil fry oil and if you watch me, you'll see me fry stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably once a week in our house. And we do reuse our oil, we strain it, but honestly, after two or three times, I get rid of it. It starts, to me, it, it's not as good. Um, a lot of people do all different kinds of things with their oil. Uh, I don't feed it to my dogs, I don't pour it in my yard, and I don't put it down my sink. I usually put it in like old coffee cans and stuff and throw it out, but I drink coffee out of K-cups. <laughs> that would be a lot of K-cups. <laughs> there's only so many times where you can save the bottle and or the bottle gets thrown away or something, but I came across this product, Fry Away. Um, I made a TikTok with it. It got a bunch of views. I reached out to them. They're like, we'll send you some more product. Um, I wanna share it with you guys. If you like it, you don't have to use it, but so I'm done with my oil, right? This is the deep fry. They also have a like a shallow fry, which is just a scoop if you just had a couple cups. But the deep fry version, one packet is good for up to eight cups of oil. Um, so while the oil is still hot and cooling, whew, I'll yeah. move it off the heat here yeah. and not burn the house down. <laughs> Trying to make tick or youtube videos so you just take that pour it into there it's like a little looks like a granule just like so then stir it around let it all stir in there and i like i said i don't know if you've ever fried oysters before but it makes the oil so dark um i don't know if it's just the juice in the oysters or what but you let that dissolve in there and in the morning it's gonna be like magic. That turns into a solidified mass that I'll be able to grab out of there and just throw away. And it's trash day in the morning, and that's what I'm gonna do. We'll fast forward to the morning, yeah, right? It's 5 a.m. <laughs> I think I got an oyster hangover. But <laughs> check it out. Big old solid block. Now, we used to, this is like probably six cups at least. That's He's, so weird. Used to have to find something to pour this in, and like I said, I don't put it in my yard. I know some people do, but 
just gonna scoop it out of here. Hey, dogs, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> Too early. Look at that. Whoa. Big old. That and, is and look, crazy. And then I just gotta wipe that out. It's all clean. All the gunk is on the bottom. But uh, you could use this too to make a candle or a fire starter if you're like super crafty like that. I'm gonna throw it away. That's crazy. Um, now you guys are gonna time travel back to last night. And just like that, now. I went Marty McFly on you guys. Time travel back to tonight. Mm -hmm. But I hope you thought that product was cool. I think it's cool. I wouldn't share it with you if I didn't think it was cool. But we're sitting, we've got, we're eating some snipe from my snipe hunt. You guys will see that video. I think the snipe hunt video will drop before the oyster video. But we, so good. we've got our daddle mayonnaise. What else did you put in it, babe? Um, the daddle honey. And a little dipper. Harold's daddle sauce. They're so good. It was completely like worth standing at the sink for an hour shucking <laughs> oysters now. Well, and your new uh, oyster shucker. Yeah. So. Can't go faster. Check out Toadfish too. But we're going to gorge on these. Mm -hmm. Little Florida uh, surf and turf, I guess you could say, with the oysters and the snipe. But it's the end of the video, guys. Please. Um, if you haven't, subscribe. If you have, thank you. Um, everybody that comments on every video and gives me all that support, thank you guys so much. Um, all the people that I've ran into and uh, reached out to me and uh, told me they liked the videos, thank all of you. Um, but we are gonna grow up, I think. Mm -hmm. while, while you want wings? I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh. Are you gonna take him out in the middle of the night? No. Me uh -uh. either. <laughs> but we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to give Mullet an oyster. Do it. Just not on camera.